but the color is a little different than usual. Transparent oxide red, Prussian blue, alizarin crimson, titanium white, Indian yellow, cadmium yellow, naphthol red. And you'll notice I have a lot more of these other colors than I normally put out. That's because we're on, actually I can probably just drop these up here. That's what I usually do. <laughs> we're on Hawaii and I was like, I could do a seascape for Hawaii, but I've already done some seascapes. What else is in Hawaii? Well, Hawaii has a lot of active volcanoes. But I figured I could try and paint one of those. I've never tried painting one before, so probably will be a little tough, a little rough, but that's okay. We'll give it a shot. Also don't know if I want to put like background color up here. Or just use the palette knife. I don't know. I haven't planned any of this out. Paul's here. Hey Paul. Just getting started. probably wipe all this off here afterwards. The oil is a little bit harder to rub in than the regular paint sometimes. Got all over my hand though. There we go. Got some on the handle. Gary's here. Hey Gary. Santa painting. Are you using liquid clear? This is just regular linseed oil, not uh not the liquid clear or anything else. Nothing fancy. Just linseed oil. I'll put some down here. Just a little bit. I say a little bit and I put a giant drop of it. <laughs> That's okay. There we go. I'll wipe this off here in a second. Lots and lots of oil. Sure, I don't have any really dry spots in the corners, anything like that. All right, there we go. Paint your dream world. Hello. What are you painting? Paint? The suspense is killing you. I can tell. <laughs> it's it's our Hawaii painting today, and it's a. Uh, um, it's going to be a volcano. I'm going to try to paint Kilauea. I'm going to wipe some of that. Oh, <laughs> the gesso is coming off. That's not good. That's what happens when I get the cheap gesso. Oh. Not concerned. All right. Here we go. We've already got the colors. Got the colors out. Let's see. I can't remember which brush I used. I think it was the first one. Let's see. Let's see. Let's put in some background. Background crimson here. Let's see. Okay. I won't be able to see much of this at all. There's some crimson there. Yeah, I'll put it over here too. to see until I actually start throwing in some whites, but we'll get there, I promise. All right, and then 
let's just throw a little bit of blue up in the top right. I don't think I'm going to use much blue on this one, but I'll just put it here for moral support or color support. <laughs> all right, so we got crimson all over this side and then a little bit of Prussian blue up on that side. I'm going to wipe this brush out real quick. Just finished painting on my channel. Nice. Yeah, everybody go check out Painter Dream World. He's got a really good channel. Lots of good tips. All right, let's go. It's getting a little toasty up here. Let's see. Let's throw some white in up here. We're going to put in some sky, but I don't want too much. I'm going to start with some like spots and then. That's good enough. Spots and then lighten it up. Because this is titanium white. Normally I use titanium zinc white, but titanium white in this brand of paint is very strong. And I just want like spots. Spots of sun or twilight or something. And over here it can be really dark, that's fine. clouds up there over here. Now I'm going to add in some yellow, yellow color. I might use the one inch brush for this. Let's use that. And a little bit of naphtha red. There we go. This is where the brim will go, brim of the volcano up here. Paint by Nate, you're almost at 600. I know, that's pretty exciting. Maybe when we hit, I don't know, a thousand or something, we can do something special. All right, wipe that brush off real quick. Add in some red. This is naphthol red now. Angry, angry red color. Wipe him off. Grab some more yellow. Throw them on top. These are like, these are smoke clouds from the, I don't know, from the fire of the volcano. So it's like erupting this way and then smoke's blowing that way. <laughs> this is going to be a fun one. All right, now what? Now what's next? <clears throat> Let's use, this is oxide red. I don't know if I want to use that yet. We got to do the brim or the actual like volcano. I'm just putting in some color right now. And I think this one's pretty big. I can't remember how big exactly, but I think it's like one of the bigger volcanoes. Kilauea. that part. Spike says, I'm really loving the state paintings. Keep up the great work. <laughs> it was a suggestion by Erica. Erica May. She commented on some of the, one of the videos and yeah, I thought it was a really good idea. So I just went, went with it. All right. So 
So there's the brim. I don't know if I want that much paint on it either. So I might scrape off some more. Oh yeah, that's way too much. We don't want that much. <laughs> that's a lot of paint. Sometimes I get carried away. Alright. Let me wipe that off. Now we gotta add in some. What do we want to add in? <laughs> Should have thought about this before. Let's see. I can do some Indian yellow here. And we'll just start throwing this on. These are the lava trails right at the top. <laughs> I'm gonna start throwing it in. I don't know, how much of this should I do with the palette knife? I could do a lot. Not sure how much I should do. Could probably do the whole thing if we really wanted to. flowing flowing down the mountain <laughs> that's cool right, we'll add some more I feel like we need something up at the top let's add some bright yellows here there we go it's okay if they mix together. You'll get some nice colors there, I think. Some over here, touch on those. And we'll probably have something down at the bottom, I don't know. Some type of flow down there with the fan brush, maybe. We need some sort of eruption here. Let's see. There's some red in there. Let's just, I kind of just want to smash paint in there. <laughs> let's start, let's just. Let's just start throwing stuff in there. Is over. It comes up into that smoke. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah, this is a fireball. Probably blend that out a little bit too with the bunny brush. If I have it, where is it? Oh, it's over here. I forget what I was using them for last time. There we go. I'm just pulling it up. I want to look kind of. These ones I can feather in. There we go. There we go. That's some smoke. Too, we could brighten it up with some white. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe we do that. Just a little bit. White and yellow. That might be too much. A little bit. 
just a little bit. On the edge, maybe. Not there. And then a little bit up here, maybe. All right. That's probably enough, maybe, for the top. Top part. Move this color that I don't like up there. All right. Now we can do what do we want to do now? I'm trying to think. I feel like we should have something over here. Maybe we can have like the lava flow come over the side and then down the front. That might be okay. That might work. All right. I don't know if I had. Always room crimson over here, but I'm just going to throw it in. I think I put it down, but I can't remember. So, this is just the fan brush. Scrub it in straight, always room crimson over this side. should have blended these out <laughs> towards the bottom at least there we go. Maybe a little bit more over here looks like I was trying to highlight a tree trunk there we go fenders here hey fender how's it going Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Clean off the fan brush real quick. Might need some more cad yellow, but it should be okay. Tommy says, looks lovely, looking lovely. Thanks. Thanks, Tommy. I'm just putting some, uh, I don't know if you can see it, the camera's kind of high up there, but I'm putting some linseed oil in the uh, cad yellow. take this and run it over. I need it to look more like a stream. That might have been too much there. <laughs> That's okay. Grab some more. Got oil all over my hands. a little bit. Alright. I feel like we could use just a little bit more yellow down at the bottom here. What do you guys think? I don't know. I don't I haven't seen a volcano in person so I'm just kind of painting from <laughs> some photos I looked at. some hard color in there and then I can shape it.
Maybe there's some dried over here, it's a little darker. We can blend that out a little bit here with the old bunny brush. There we go. Looks kind of solid. A little bit. <laughs> Some over here, maybe. I feel like this was a really fast one. <laughs> I thought it was going to take a little bit longer. Should we add anything? Find these out just a little bit more. There's a lot of space over here. I don't know what to put over there. Maybe we don't put anything. I don't know. Definitely not somewhere you'd want to walk, that's for sure. I do have some stuff on my palette knife. That's no fun. Oh well. Had a dinosaur. <laughs> Liked your Christmas ornament paying. Oh, thanks. Yeah, those were fun. That was, um, who did I see that did that? Uh, ma mm, uh, painting with Master Temple. He did some. I saw him do some, so I thought I'd try it, give it a shot. <laughs> I don't know how to draw a dinosaur. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see if we can do one. I'll probably need something more detailed, like a filbert, maybe. <laughs> it's gonna be tricky. Paul's always throwing me curveballs. Uh. Oh, I have no idea how to do this. <laughs> There's part of the head. How big do we want them? I think it can be pretty big. Maybe just the head. <laughs> this is wee tough. <laughs> More like a rock than a dinosaur, maybe. All right. We need... Where's the mouth? A little bit more accent on the head. Nate Zilla. <laughs> yeah. Add a big eye in here. It's kind of hard to see in the light, but we'll figure it out. Is there yellow here? <laughs> I can't even tell. I feel like I need just a little bit more. That's oh, brown. I don't want brown eyes. <laughs> Can't have brown. Solid brown eye. I just look. That doesn't look right. I'll clean this brush off. Maybe that'll help. All right, back to this. I think I tried the yellow and it didn't quite work, so I'll just get it a little bit more and see if this. What direction does a dinosaur's eye go? They're like crocodiles, right? I don't know. This is either going to look terrible or great. Or maybe a little both. Also, don't have any black, but I can probably make some with purple and these colors red, blue, oxide, brown. That should be some shade of. Hopefully dark purple or black or something. We'll throw that in at the end though. That's for the eye. <laughs> I think 
think I do need a script liner for this. Maybe that's the edge. <laughs> the edge of the dinosaur. I'm not an expert in dinosaur drawing or painting. If you know of one, let me know. Give him a little, he needs a little arm. <laughs> nice. All right. One that out just a little bit. And then, oh, where'd my script liner go? Oh, it's over here. I'll blend that out, or, or wash this out real quick and add an eye, a little ball and eye, or a black spot. It's very hard to see up there because the light's like right behind the camera. Hopefully you guys can see it. Scary, <laughs> scary looking. teeth. They don't have to be big. <laughs> there we go. And a couple of nose. A nostril here. Looks like a big alligator. <laughs> Alright. I think that's good enough for the dinosaur. I don't know what type of dinosaur it is, but... You like putting dinosaurs in your painting spike? <laughs> that's pretty cool. I don't really add much wildlife to them. It's usually just, uh, just regular old landscapes, but it's pretty fun. It's starting to look like me. I'm gonna sign this before I destroy any other parts of the painting. <laughs> Although that didn't go, that went pretty well. Nice little volcano and a dinosaur. His impending doom. All right, put a date on there. Two, two, almost to 23. Pretty crazy. Won't be many 22 Nate paintings. <laughs> Alright, I think that's good enough. We take them down. That was a nice short -ish painting. It's supposed, it's supposed to be Kilauea. Uh, Alright, I think that's held up kind of straight. There we go. Mount Kilauea in Hawaii.